looking mad. Manchester United 1, Brighton 2. There you have it, guys. The balloon of optimism has been popped. Well and truly popped. Ten Hag, a reality check. Some might call it a massive reality check. Man United have been soundly beaten by Brighton at Old Trafford, at home. The opening game of the season when you really expect, or at least you want, as a Man United fan, Ten Hag and the team to make a statement, to make a big statement, especially what happened after last year, after the end of the season, where for me, the players down tools and the players essentially threw Ragnik under the bus. Opening game of the season and some of those players, in fact, almost most of those players are still here. And you think the players that are still here, they're going to give it their all. They're going to show us why they still should be still here. Because let's be honest, Ragnik came out and he said, we need about 10 new players. Man United need 10 new players. And what happened afterwards? Rangnick was let go. And I'm not, quite, I'm not trying to say that he was let go because of that. But it's funny that, you know, the man said we need a lot of work to be done here. We need a new team. And he was let go. And I think Ten Hag today has seen what happens. When the going gets tough, some of these players just can't handle the intensity, can't handle the emotion, just can't handle the badge, the weight of the badge. They crumble. They do. And I don't, I don't even want to go into the detail of why we scored and who made a mistake, but it's very, very evident and clear to see that these same players, the same players that performed badly for Oli and Ragnik are the same players that are performing or not performing right now for Ten Hag. And it's clear to give... If there's one message I have for the board is give the man his players. Give Ten Hag his players. Okay, Fred. I like Fred. I think we should differentiate between Fred and McTominay because Fred is a better player. But Fred is not a DM. He's not. And he cannot play the number six role. He cannot be the guy to link the play between the defence and the attack. He doesn't have it. He, he's not aware of the space. He's not aware of what's around him. His head is not on a swivel enough for me, for me. When I look at the players, when I look at the Jorginhos of this world, their heads are always on a swivel. They're always aware of what's around them. And I know the pass to, to Fred could have been better by, um, from De Gea, but Fred can't play that role. I don't think he has the necessary passing ability um, that is required to play that quarterback role where you're orchestrating and dictating play. He's, he's, he's nippy, he's quick. Um, I don't think he has incredibly great dribbling accuracy. Um, he's good at getting away from, from, you know, from one individual, but he's not the most press resistant either. So I don't think Fred, clearly Fred should not be playing there. And I mean, the owners were there. The owners of the club were there in the stands and I hope that they can see what we can see. And I hope it's registering to them the way it's the way it registers to us. Because sometimes I think, do they see what we see? Brighton are, I mean, Brighton are a well-drilled team. Don't get me wrong. Brighton are a well-drilled team. But we should be beating Brighton. We should have a better midfield than Brighton. And Scott McTominay... <sighs> Why is Scott McTominay in the team? I think Scott McTominay is, is in the team for his physicality and nothing more. I don't think he offers anything. Technically, he's not a good or he's not a good technical he's not a good technical midfielder. He isn't. There's not a lot to his game. He lacks so many so many fundamentals. And the first half, I mean at the start of the first half, I thought, okay, cool. We looked shaky. But then it just got worse and worse. Brighton were all over us. We just couldn't couldn't get a grip of the game. It's the midfield. I mean, we were just run over. United were run over in the midfield. We just couldn't get any kind of passing, any kind of fluidity to our game. Playing the high line with Maguire is always a risk. I thought Martinez played okay. You know, it's not the greatest debut from him, to be honest. Um, and I'm pretty... <laughs> 
I'm pretty scared of this high line with Maguire and Martinez, especially Maguire. We're gonna we're gonna concede a lot of goals. United are gonna see the, concede a lot of goals with Maguire and Martinez playing the high line. We didn't get to see much of Dallo. Shaw was non-existent. Marcus Rashford, I've said many times, he cannot play up front. He's not a striker. And and if we get a winger or another striker, I think Rashford could find himself on the bench. Bruno does what Bruno does, gives the ball away all the time. He tries, but with Bruno, I sometimes I wish he he could make things or just do things more simply. Just make it just sometimes just do the easy pass, Bruno. I think he runs so f- he runs so flat foot he's so flat footed when he runs, Bruno. I mean bless him. I say bless him like he's a child. He's not a child. I shouldn't say bless him. He's a professional footballer who gets paid millions. But I'm Bruno and Rashford, Maguire, Shaw, Fred, McTominay. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call out the names. These are the plays that, you know, let us down last season. Some of the plays that let us down last season. And it's funny that Ronaldo wants to leave, but as soon as Ronaldo came on, we just looked a better team. I know he wants to leave, guys, and I know there's a lot of people who say, you know, if a player wants to leave, let them leave. And I, I'm, I am from that school. I am from that school. If a player's heart is not in, is not in it, then let them leave. But this is a different situation. We don't have any alternatives. The board are clearly not backing the manager, not in a way that we think they should anyway. And you know, when Ronaldo came on, it made a difference. It did. Putting putting Christian Eriksen back in that DM position made a difference because he's able to he was able to orchestrate things more. He was he was able to dictate more of the play. But yeah, I can't. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a year ago saying that we miss Martial? We miss that striker that could drop deep and 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 link the play, hold on to the ball, bring others into play. We need that striker. That Firmino, that's you know, we 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 needed Martial. We missed Martial today. We did, we did. But yeah, reality check, reality check. Let's see what Ten Hag does. You know, a part of me wishes that Ten Hag did it on purpose, just to show the board that we need new players. Part of me wishes Ten Hag did it just to say, look, this is what we have, and we can't even beat Brighton, so give me more. Because I'm pretty sure the owners turned up because they thought this was going to be an easy win. Perhaps, I don't know. But, yeah. Ten, the Ten Hag reign hasn't started well, hasn't started brightly, and it's not his fault. He's inherited players that he doesn't want. They're not his players. He, they don't know how to play his style of football. They can't implement it the way he wants. But, at the same time, it will also take time. You know? Potter's been with this team for, for a while now. And Ten Hag's only been with this team for a few months, so it will take time, but we need players. Please give Ten Hag his players, and that's my take from the game. Yeah, what do you guys think? Um, let me know your thoughts. If you know-